Hatu anasema wako na pesa atiko sekula. Hii pesa tuko nayo sana na tunaibia tu Mungu. Na the biggest gospel artist hapa Kenya. Jiman ukipenda unaweza muita Guardian Angel ako na mke wake hapa wanakaa vizuri kabisa amepiga pampa ya ni samawati ama ni gani <laughs> mkwaje safi nashukuru eh mafurahi kwa na nyinyi wote you guys are, uh, are amazing god our bless you amen tell us about uh, first of all tunaongea kuhusu majabu the album yake mashmwana tunao mmefika na pale youtube ukiingia kuna ngoma ina premiere already as we speak yako featuring na Tell us about uh, the project. Um, uh, the project uh, I did with Mashmwana. Yesu uh, Mamboyote. He looked out for me uh, and explained to me. He played to me a few songs that he had done on the album and what he wanted to achieve uh, uh, on the album. Uh, uh, he's been very vocal about uh, the gospel. Uh, Uh, but despite everything that has been happening to the gospel i'm a vocal kabisa na uh, i'm passionate about the things of god so uh, uh, he called me and asked me to uh, do a song with him he played the song it was a good song so i called him to studio he came to my studio we recorded this song and i love the song oh, okay tukizungumzia hiyo album tuna mekuja mpaka kumsupport na wife i mean why um uh, It's because uh, it, it is a gospel album and I'm a gospel musician. Si only kama kuna reason nyingine ambayo inaweza kuwa zaidi ya hiyo kwa sababu mimi ni msanii wa gospel. Umesema mimi ni top gospel artist. So anything that happens in the gospel, it's just good that we are, we are there because we are gospel musicians. Yeah man. Because you mesema anything that happens in the gospel allow me to ask you this question about uh, the gospel of uh, the chairman of gospel Rington Apoko mwa ifanya ngoma na ye a few years ago Juzi alisema alifunguka akasema ametoka gospel anaingia love songs Ulipokea hiyo habari vipi Um siwezi kusema nilipokea vizuri um, because uh, the gospel you know but as much as we say things from uh, you know different dimensions Uh, and for different reasons si sote tunajua Rington anapenda mchezo kidogo saa zingine kwa hiyo si sote hatujui bado kwamba amesema hivyo kwa nini mpaka tuweze ku, uh, kuhakikisha ama afanye kitu after hiyo tuone kweli alikuwa ameamua anatoka ama atoke but uh, uh, st- stani kama ninaweza kuchukulia vizuri tena mmoja wetu mwingine tena aseme kwamba amewacha gospel unajua kwa sababu wacheni niwaambie kitu kimoja. Uh, uh, gospel ama kukuwa msanii wa gospel unaweza kwazwa. Unajua? Unaweza kwazwa na binadamu wenzako ambao pia hao labda wako kwa injili. Lakini hiyo imaanishi kwamba Mungu amekukwaza. Unajua? So the minute una una denounce gospel, hiyo ni kitu yako personal la Mungu. Kama Mungu ndo alikuita umfanye kazi Alafu kisha unakuwa na binadamu unaacha kazi ya Mungu hiyo ina maanisha una get personal kwa God kwa sababu ya human beings so if it is a calling that, that, that God is the one who has called you then you you, are, you should be in a position to endure everything that happens to you alafu mrudie Mungu mwambie hii kazi uliniita basi niko nayo lakini ninaumia una understand kwa hiyo hakuna vile tunafaa ku kwa tuna tunalipishia Mungu kwa sababu ya kitu nimefanywa na binadamu una understand so uh, mimi nataka tu tuseme uh, hypothetically umejiweka kwa position ya god kama Mungu angekuwa naamua kwamba analipisha kwa sababu ya kila kitu inafanywa mbaya basi si sote tungekuwa chakufa una understand kwamba ati uh, 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 wewe umefanya makosa basi kufa unajua si sote tungekuwa chakufa kwa hiyo inamaanisha tu uh, najaribu tu kusema kwamba wakati mwingine unaweza kukwazwa kama mimi nilikwazwa sana kwa gospel lakini hiyo so reason ya kuacha ile calling ambayo Mungu amekuita ufanye. Yeah. Before tuzungumze na wife, eh, ningependa kuuliza swali. Wewe kama gospel ambassador and I'm, I'm expecting a yes or no answer. Do you think chairman ametoka gospel ama ni, ni, ni mbwembwe tu? I'm not sure about that. I can't answer for him. Uh, I can't answer for him because uh, honestly I don't know. Yeah. Sasa ni wako anaendeleaje? 
uh, DJ Kes anaendelea poa ako kwa event sasa hii ana, uh, ana DJ she's a DJ also and a musician at the same time so she's an, in, in an event that's why she was not able to come here today but she's doing very well sio wote mnaona mzuka wake vile inatesa inasumbua hapa najua mko nayo mumu tu inatesa ina dupo Esther Esther you one of the ladies when you wanna support husbands wow sana every time Hali Guardian ako in Guardian ame maintain sana pale kwa gospel artist who do you think maybe kitu gani anafanya different from other gospel artists Konza yeye anapenda Mungu sana I mean he has he doesn't have a choice he it's either gospel or gospel so for me that is why I support him because I know hakuna njia nyingine Guardian tukirudi tu hapo kidogo kwa kukwazwa Ningetaka kujua do you think that actually the reason as to why artists wanaondoka kwa gospel is because wamekwazwa ama it is because of music business yani muziki hauleti pesa is that the reason again i will say if uh, this is a calling that i have I, and, I, and i'm convicted in my heart that it is a calling then anytime it stops making sense for me business wise i will reach out to the one who called me and we all believe that god is the provider he provides for even the ones who are out there you understand so uh, at any point if i get to a place where mziki yangu haileti kitu eh na mimi ni gospel musician imaanishi kuacha ndo nitapata kitu kwa sababu mpaka hapo nje si ati kwamba hapo ndo pazuri you understand eh kwa hiyo kama hiyo ndo reason inaweza kumfanya mtu aache gospel ati kwa sababu hakuna kipato basi hakuna kipato hapo nje pia you understand kwa hiyo it's, it's a lame reason you understand it's a lame reason and, and most of us would stop singing gospel kwa sababu probably tunafikiria tu kwamba hapo ndo pazuri kwa sababu pana ka green saa zingine nyasi ina ka green mahali kumbe hapo ni siwe jimemea jua siwe tunajua yeah. <laughs> you understand mm-hmm. yes. kwa hiyo kwa wakati mwingine tunaweza dania huko nje ndo kupo yeah. but the minute you get in there ndo una realize where kumbe mimi si understand dynamics za hapa because mm-hmm. You know we're not stopping uh, the same gospel to go into an industry that has no people. Okay. Eh hey, tunaenda kwa mahali ambayo tunaenda kwa miji ambayo kuna kuku ambao wanawika huko tayari. Yeah. Kwa hiyo pia wewe kuweza kufika hapo ndio uweze kuika itabidi uume kidogo. But the bottom line is God is the provider. God is the owner of everything, silver and gold. Yeah. Kwa hivyo mimi siwezi kumwacha Mungu ndio niende kupata a better life somewhere else i believe in god is where the best life is and i, I want to just speak to all of you guys you know whether you believe uh, 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 in the things of god or in the musicians who sing the gospel or not you might not believe in what i do you might not believe in me but i want to ask you to believe in god because god is faithful god has a purpose for everyone that he creates God is not in a business of creating you akwache ukuje uteseke and the bible says that he has a good reason he has a plan for you you know to give you a future and to give you hope that is what he has for every one of us so for him to create you he has a future and hope for you so there's no way you would say that you don't believe in the hope and future that god has for you to go and get it elsewhere it is impossible yeah. and the same way i would say if you get a fish out of water today it will die If you get a tree out of the soil it will die because that is where it is planted it get that is the source of its life so if you get yourself from the place where god planted you and because god is the one who created you with his reasons if you get yourself from that place you will die my friend mm. and, and 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 speaking as a prophet i'm telling you all of you guys will witness to it that if i can stand here to say that 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 i don't believe in god anymore because i feel elsewhere is the best place to go God is a jealous God and you will see him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We will all see him. Tuko hapa bado. Bado tunaishi hizi camera ile tu kitu itafanyika hapa tuta tuta upgrade tu kwa better cameras. Otherwise tuko hapa hapa. Yeah. And these cameras will focus yeah. and you guys will see that truly God you Yeah. You understand? Yeah. God you gonna hate to your option. Yeah. Amen. God is love guardian, okay? Yeah. So is it really bad for a gospel artist kuimba love songs? depending on um, um uh, on the context depending on also you know uh, 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 the way you you present it you understand we have so many gospel musicians who have done love songs na tujai sikia mtu akikashifu kwamba huyu ametoka unajua um, um, hata nakumbuka kwa album ya Rose Mohando ya kwanza aliongelelea kwamba 
uh, uh, usimsengenye mume wako kwa watu wengine unajua umheshimu mpende mume wako you know we have had so many people uh, kuna uh, boni mwetegi alisema mke mwema anatoka kwa bwana you know it's a love song you understand yeah. na hakuna mtu amewahi kufika mahali akasema eh huyu ameanza secular na understand so it just depends on how you present your love you understand yes. because we we go to uh, to the church to wed and we kiss the bride yes. is it wrong to kiss in church you no. understand so then it depends on uh, 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 the dimension and the perspective and, and and the way you present your love song anytime nikianza kuongelelea love alafu naongelelea vile unakaa huku nyuma nini hata ni ngumu kuimba kwa kanisa you understand but kuna vile naweza kusema kwamba unakaa uh, vizuri mungu amekuumba unajua a uh, uh, fearfully and wonderfully man. you understand the way i present it is what matters okay. yeah all right that yeah What says that that no eye and no ear has even heard what God is about to do even in this industry you have not seen if you are aligning yourself uh, with other things because you feel that is where better content is let me tell you start preparing yourself you know because there's better content in the things of God we are getting to a place where it will only be the things of god or you don't exist that is why that's where we are going right now and so kama una unajifurahisha kujiondoa na mambo ya mungu kwamba inakaa hiyo ndo inakuleta aibu ama hiyo ndo haiwezi kwa saa hii hivyo ndo inakaa kwa saa hii lakini hapa mbele mahali tunaenda itakuwa ni either uko kwa mambo ya mungu ama wewe hauko hata na maisha ya kuishi All right. Okay, thank you Guardian and Esther. Asante ni. Usidanganywe na mtu yote ako na camera na microphone. Kwamba gospel imeisha. Haiwezi kuisha. Gospel tuko na tuko sana. One of the biggest song right now is Yesu sio mwezi. Do people know the song? Yes. yes, because it's the biggest gospel song. But but you can't pay attention to that because kwa akili yako gospel imeisha ndio content in itself. My friend, my friend. Injili ya Bwana iko sana na sisi tuko sana. Na Yesu ametuprovidea. Ah tu anasema uko na pesa tuko secular. Hii pesa tuko nayo sana na tunaipia tu Mungu. Unajua? Eh, it's clear that we have the money yeah. and we have it in serving God because we have understood that God is the provider. So, usidanganywe kwamba hakuna kitu kwa gospel. Iko sana kuna maisha, kuna amani, kuna pesa, kuna raha, kuna upendo na kuna kila kitu kwa gospel ya Mungu. Amen. Na kuna kitu tamu tamu. Iko sawa. Thank you so much. Hi.